Hello and welcome back to Terrible Content, the only show run by me where you get to watch my terrible stuff. So you might say that I criticize mod pack makers too much. I mean, it must be really hard to make your own mod pack, right? Right? Yes, I made my own mod pack. This video is about that. It's on Grace Forge right now. You can download it. Okay, I've already installed it and played it for a bit, um, but I'll start a new world for you guys. Do you, do you want that? Sound good to you? Okay. Anyways, we are doing weekly updates, so do please check it out. It is called Modded Minecraft Questing 101. And it aims to teach you about the basics and the more advanced parts of all the mods that are part of it. Like, did you know about all the weird stuff that's in Batania? I bet for 9% of people watching, you already do know. And so everything I say is going to sound like, of course I know that, you idiot. Why wouldn't I know that? But I basically read the entire Lexica Botanica and turned it into quests. And that made 330 of them. So now there are 61 quest lines and almost 1,400 quests. The newest update came about 16 hours ago, and you can download it at the link in the description. Okay, now let's play. When it's done loading. Also, if you're having any issues with the Curse Forge launcher, um, Curse Forge launcher is a little buggy sometimes. I recommend you try AT launcher or GD launcher. Both of which are two letter launchers, or you could try multi MC. Multi MC is also pretty good. I personally have them all installed, but I'm kind of a madman, so you probably shouldn't do that. Also, I'm on Mac, and almost nobody plays mod packs on Mac, so I guess, you know, it's like, do what you want. Why do I have Apple Music open? Anyways, uh, also, if the title screen looks weird, just make sure it's full screen with GUI scale large. Um, yeah. Um, I'll just join this world. I've only played it a little bit. The last update I stopped Pam's Harvest Craft from rebalancing vanilla food values, but you can undo that if you want. Anyways, so we have a couple mods in here. Um, so the quest book is where you unlock the new quest lines. I've done some of it already, like the basics, which has a overly long description, and the rest of them. And so I've unlocked those quest lines. You can see the basics is the basics. And natural resources about sand, gravel, and clay, and what you can make them. There's TNT here, but I need to kill a creeper to unlock that quest. And mining, you can see I've made a little mine, I've gotten some iron tools. Crop farming, I have gotten a hoe. I have not actually farmed any crops yet, but now that you know about how far I've gotten in this, I have made this little patch of land. I'm growing some wheat on it. I... Oh yeah, I want to finish that wall. Oh, also I made this house. Nothing too special. I could probably have done it better, but I think it's pretty good. It's a house that I can call my own, and I didn't follow any building tutorials. Probably shows. All the building tutorials make really cool houses, and they all also use spruce, dark oak, and leaf blocks. Don't worry, we'll get there. This pack has over 1,300 quests, with more coming every week. And if this video sounds like an advertisement for this mod pack, that's because it is. So please download it. I spent a very long time making it, and I think that it is pretty well balanced and well made, and I hope you enjoy it if you do play it. And if you have any bugs, just comment them, and I'll be sure to help you fix them. Okay, great. Now, let's just play some of this mod pack. You can see I, I also have a shield that I got. And, yeah. Also, a scroll, which is going to be part of the Portal Tombstone quest line, which is available right now. I could get it, but I don't really think I'm well-equipped enough, and I kind of wanted to avoid the modded stuff until I finished the vanilla stuff. Bone meal. Well, I do have some bones. I think I have enough to pretty comfortably do that. 
One mail, baby. Woo! And the trophy room, if you're wondering, allows you to um, get trophies for completing quest lines. So there's one for completing all the Minecraft quest lines, the Tinker's Construct quest lines. Yes, those are just. Uh, anyways, enough advertising. Let's get actually playing. Um, so I got some wheat, but I think I might want to get a little more wheat to farm. Also, now that vanilla food values are back to normal, I can finally start eating, like, cooked meat. And I just thought it was ridiculous that the cooked meat only gave you one hunger piece. And rotten flesh gave you two. Like, come on. But, anyways, I also want to make a fence gate. So I think I'm going to go to these nearby oak and birch forest. And so far, I've only been using maple trees, and I like that standard oak sometimes. I'm trying to play from the perspective of somebody who doesn't know much about this and is only going to be following the quest. So I'm not going to be doing anything that I have not seen in a quest. And there are tons of mods in this pack. There are around, around 50 mods. Which you might say is actually pretty low for a pack with more than a thousand quests. And I'd say you're right. Almost every content mod in the... No, every content mod in this pack has quests. The only ones that don't are mods like JEI, Journey Map, and, um, and Better Foliage. Like, how am I supposed to make a quest line for Better Foliage? If you can tell me in the comments how to make a quest line for better foliage, then I'll do it. Um, anyways, I'm just going to chop down some oak trees. I need to go start growing some trees on my little home island of mine. I've tried to keep most of my nearby animals alive so that I can, like, you know, breed them when I can. Also, we need to get some arrows, because I, well, I want to complete the bow quest line. I mean, quest. Um, but I do need to kill some animals, because I kind of need food to eat. Do you know what I eat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I prefer to do it to a mob that there are a lot of. That seems to be chickens. So, a one? A two? Chicken. Oh, chicken. Um. There we go. Okay, I'm done killing chickens. Hopefully, there's still a couple left in the environment. I'll sacrifice my eggs. Yep, there are enough chickens left. Okay, I do have some feathers now, so I think we can make some arrows. So I can get the bow arrow equipped. Uh, yeah. Also, I would need to repair my bow. I am going to be able to do that, though, when we get back to my house. Also, I made this nice little path. I like it. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded any Project Ozone 3 videos recently, it's that first I forgot, and second, I was trying to get a video where I uploaded I tried to get every tier one mystical agriculture seed as like a more produced video, but then I lost some footage, and so that's been a thing. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so. Also, I think just filling a bucket with water will get me a different quest. Unless I've gotten that. Okay, I've gotten that already. Um, I do want to find a village soon, if that's possible. Um. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for the pack, you can leave them in the comments below. Okay, bow, arrow, shield. Okay, well, I have some flint. That's not very much flint. Uh, I should still be able to make an arrow, though. Great, I just need one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Luckily, I do have some gravel, so I'll just put that down and mine it until I get some flint. There we go, that was pretty easy. Now let's just craft those up again. There, I've never crafted arrows before, if you can't tell. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we have a full 16 arrows and the quest should be saying complete.
Yes, I should get iron armor. That would be probably a good idea. Um, okay, okay. Compromise city. I cannot make the full set right now, or even close to that. But I'll make a helmet. That'll get me on my iron journey. Um, anyways, now let me cook some of that food that I got. I'll just use some planks. It's kind of a waste to use coal to cook that little stuff. I mean, what am I? An environmental destroyer. That would be bad. Anyways, it's time for the daily journey map death waypoint cleansing. Um, and now, let's get out into the world. Okay. Okay. My bow is kind of only partially durable. And right now, I don't even have it in my inventory. Shows that it's not very good. Not very good at all, actually. Okay, now that cooked chicken gives me a normal amount of hunger, I can finally recover. Let's do this persimmon then I I'm kinda of trying to say that in the quest where I need a persimmon. So, so hmm. Woodchuck, good chuck wood. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck good chuck wood? I don't know how much wood would a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck good chuck wood, but I'm pretty sure it would chuck a lot of wood. Um anyways. I have learned a lot about mods while I'm making this, and so I've realized I have been an idiot in some of my videos. Uh, Cornell Tombstone is actually really cool. Like, it lets you teleport directly to your grave by crafting your grave's key with an ender pearl, which I for one did not know about, and I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, I got a little bit of iron now. And I'm trapped in a cave now. Got it. Yay. Yay, two iron. There's a bit, uh, I could say a deeper cavern. Yeah, I agree with you there. So, I'm like, since I want more iron and I'm willing to risk my life for it, I'm going to go and mine some more iron. Right over here. This is a strangely shaped vein. We're getting a lot of iron from this cave here. Wait, is that an Enderman? Well, you know the classic Enderman cheese, right? I mean, we now have enough iron to make a full set of iron armor, baby. Woo! being mad at me? What the heck is going on with this under one? Am I safe? I think the Enderman is not having a great time. You don't like situations like these because you never know with like a will the Enderman target you. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Yep, that's kind of what I thought would happen. Um, okay, let's retrieve our Enderman and our stuff. Whoopee, you're in this game. And of course the Enderman despawned. Yay. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Let's leave. Okay. Now that we're back in our home of sweet homes. I think we should make ourselves some iron armor, huh? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I got some iron. 
And it's a 26 iron. And that's part of a time. It seems like a whole stretch. And I would agree with you. But we just got really lucky. Um, I blame for it. Um, anyways, though, I am, I think, going to first cook some chicken because I would. Oh, never mind. I have full. Okay. Okay, well. I'm doing pretty successfully, actually. Um, I don't know why I had a bounty me for a skeleton horse. Okay. Red flowers. Do we have any red flowers near us? Red flowers near me. Well, I don't know, but we can work our way towards this lumberjack achievement by getting more of the numbers. The, lo the logs. The loggy logs. The bali logs. The log. The loggy logs. Okay. Um, you mean more of the logs? We already have um, some. We already have um, some. Yes. Oh, this is my opportunity to tame a wolf. This is not the best position to tame a wolf, but I think wolves teleport to you if you tame them, so. Yay! There isn't a quest for taming the dog, but it just, it's not unlocked yet. Don't worry, though. I'm sure, I think better questing works in a way that it will say, that it will remember that I did this. And if not, I can just tame another dog. I mean, the more dogs, the better, right? Now, to all you cat lovers, you can also tame a cat in Minecraft. So it's like, it's not a bad thing. I'll probably also tame a cat, but I just realized I didn't make a quest for that. I'll add that in the next update. Anyways, I think if I go far enough away from my tame's dog, it'll magically appear behind me. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. Anyways, I'm trying to keep going further so that it magically appears behind me again. Okay. Well, I know that my dog is going to magically appear behind me in a couple of seconds. So let's make a fence gate for the farm. Why would I care about insulating my farm? I don't know. Let's go with the plan here. Let's go. Okay, let's sit you down, you adorable little dog. Yeah, oh, he's gonna be my pet. Um, fence. Great. Okay, so now we have our little uh, crop farming place all done, and I guess Dustin. Um, but now let's go ahead and make some break some more grass. Oh, industrial hemp seeds. I know what these do, but I said that I'm not going to mess with modded stuff until later. Um, grass. I want some more seeds. I think you get those by breaking grass. Corporate is telling me I should use some bone meal. Should I listen to corporate? Ah, no, I'll just break some more grass. How unlikely, okay, good, another piece of seeds. I feel like it dropped more seeds just then, but I can't find them. Anyways, it looks like this is going to be my temporarily feather farm because there are lots, lots of feathers here. Lots of feather friends. And they're all following me. I mean, I guess I'll seize the moment. <laughs> okay, good, they stopped following me. Um, I'm gonna grow some more uh, wet heat now that I have some more seeds. Great. And I'll also bun mill some of it to get some actual wheat. Yes, some wheat. And can I craft the wheat into seeds? No, I cannot. But now I can use some of my bone meal to grow more wheat. That's kind of the point of having bone meal on a farm here. And now the crops are going to grow. Crops are going to grow. Okay, now I think this has been smelting for quite a while. Oh yeah, let's give it the chicken. Um, and now we can craft our rest of our armor. So chest plate, leggings, booties, 
And we'll have a full set. I am kitted up. It shows I'm holding an iron ingot. Is that like a flex? I don't know. Um, anyways. Yay, now I have a full set of iron armor. And that means I've completed that quest. And I've unlocked the diamond armor quest. Well, not quite. I have oak wood, but not spruce wood or birch wood or dark oak wood or jungle wood or acacia wood. All I've got to do it. Okay, my nice cooked chicken is cooked. I'm ready to eat. I think I have like a little animal pen. I put some chickens in it. Some nice chickens. So I'm gonna go mine some cobblestone so I can make the wall for that. I have this separate cobble mine set up. Is this is not, I just want cobble here. I'm not interested in those. If you see gravel, it means mine in a different direction. Gravel is a pain. Pain in the butt. That should be about enough to make a little little chicken pen. Oh, hey. Wow, that's lucky. I mean, I said I'm not here for ores, but if I find ores, I'm going to get... I hope you guys don't think I'm cheating. I know this seems suspiciously lucky. I promise I just got lucky. But I mean, this is a mod pack. It's not like I'm competing for the speedrun world record anyways. Um, but I mean, if, if, I, if I beat Minecraft in my own mod pack, I'll take that as partial credit. Um, I mean, like, I don't need it, but like, if I have it anyways, I might as well, right? Anyways, though, I think I'm going to make uh, a bow. I've literally never crafted a bow before. I have no idea how you make it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is this is exposing me for the Minecraft noob. I really am. There we go. And now I'll just craft it with this bow. They remove the default. Didn't waste an arrow. It did waste a little bow durability, but it's okay. It's okay. Now my dog isn't smiling, which is really bad. Um. Anyways, I'm going to go down to the mines now that I'm better equipped, and I'm going to try to get some stuff. Last time I died because I was not better equipped. But this mine, these mines are gigantic, and I can probably find something good. I'm in one of the quark spider caves. I always need to fill up on that coal. Quark has these annoying monster boxes when you get close they spawn a ton of mobs all at once. And they kind of freak you out, and you usually die. I die. I, I don't know about you. Maybe I'm just bad at Minecraft. Um, anyway, let's explore. And th I have been here before. It's very dangerous world in these deep caverns. Did I steal that name from Hypixel Skyblock? Definitely. Um, Anyways, the other reason I have so much string is because I've just been mining all these cobwebs. Uh, this, this cave gives you string for days. Oh, I see some more iron. I mean, a little deadly looking, but I might as well go for it, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. He's almost done. Probably not, though, because I have portal tombstone, so losing all my stuff was kind of me and I had a serious lapse in judgment and just did not pick up my grave. Oh, right, I was going to make a chicken coop. I'll do that when I'm done mining. What I want is those nice, shiny blue rocks. Diamond. But of course, redstone is helpful too. I might need to craft some. More torches. That should be good.
I'm wondering why I'm gathering so much iron, even though I already have a full set of iron armor. It's because you need iron for lots of things. It's useful to carry around. Also gold. Gold is not that useful, but I'm going to get it anyways. You know, when you see it more, you're just not going to pass it up, are you? You probably are if you're rich enough. I'm not rich enough, though. Um, oh, Peridot ore. How disappointing. More gold. So no shiny blue rocks for me, huh? Well, I will find them. Stay tuned. I'm sure I will find them. But. I think it's time for me to follow this water stream up to the surface and get out of the cave to build my little chicken coop. Well, first I am going to look a little further for my precious shiny blue rocks because I just need some shiny blue rocks in my life. I mean, what's wrong with that? It is foolish of me to look in this part of the cave, as it is impossible for diamonds to generate this height, but I am anyways, because I am an idiot. Um, creeper! Oh man! We are going to go upstairs now because it's kind of, yeah, we've had a little time down here, you know, we've gotten to familiarize ourselves with the underground makeup of this Minecraftian world, and I just realized this ladder is still not finished. I definitely need, you know, I need to fix that. I'm not sure if I, like, never fixed that. Um, anyways, though, I think I'm going to fix that, make a chicken coop, and then we'll call up. And then we'll round out the episode. Also, if I made this a series, I could call it Mom, my own mod pack. Just a thought. Anyways, let's smelt some ores. Fill in some more coal. What can we even make with the iron? Like. We feel like we already have enough iron, but... I, oh, I guess like we'd make a... Let me check the quests. Um, I guess we could make something else, probably. Oh, yeah, uh, a compass. I don't even care about a compass, but I'll make a compass, since I can. Huh? But that questing can be a little weird sometimes. They can definitely have a compass. Guys, I, I have a compass. Uh, Minecraft, you're drunk. Go home. I may need to like throw it out of my inventory. What? Why? Better question, you're drunk. Uh -huh. <coughs> well, we need a compass pointing that specific direction. That would be really stupid, but I guess that's technically possible.
Okay, I'm relogging to try to. Okay, let's see if a relog fixed this. Oh. Yeah, let's see if a relog fixed this. Okay, I'm gonna bug debug this, okay? Maybe I need to craft another one? Okay, I'm gonna try to reload to do the to reload the quest. And yes, I am sorry that I had to. That I had to craft two compasses, even though I didn't need two compasses. Two compasses, I guess. I can't use two compasses. It's pointless, so I guess I'll put one on my door. Wait, I can't even do that. I don't have an item for it. I guess I only would need one piece of leather. Get a bed. Wait, edit mode? I can't edit. Uh, I'm very confused because oh maybe resetting the quest did that. Um, I'm sure it'll probably fix at some point with like a relog of the entire game. I'll try. Okay, I did a full relog, including quitting the game. It's probably still not going to work. At some point it'll. You know why I'm so desperate to fix this? I could, I could just not fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to go and try to kill a cow so that I can get some leather so that I can make an item frame so that I can show off one compass so that I don't feel like I wasted my iron. Um, okay, so, let's find a cow to kill the cow to make an item frame so that I don't feel like I wasted my iron. Even though I wasted my iron. Um, yeah, that's that. And I can still use the, and like I would any normal, any normal compass, I just don't get the quest, and that makes it less sad. So maybe if I, oh, you know, maybe completing a different quest will fix that. I don't know. Nothing will happen. It, it'll probably be fixed. Okay. So, I am going to keep trying to get this quest working. It worked in a different creative test world. Um... I'll figure it out. Anyways, so uh, right now let's put an item frame up to show the way home so that I can pretend that this was something I totally intended to do and it was not just because I crafted an extra compass because I thought it would make my quest work. I 
Better questing is kind of buggy sometimes. I bet it'll be fixed in the next pack update somehow. But that does kind of look good, so I'm glad I did it. Um, I should put a button on the side. Let me do that. Gold complete. What time is it? Make a stone button now. And it can trigger my door. Just the right amount of time. Okay. Also, I guess I'll quote this. Let me make a clock as the other random thing. Uh, but okay, so I'm still recording. Okay, I'm recording. Sorry about that. Now, let me make a clock. Clock. A clockety clock. Really? Really? Okay. What the heck is going wrong here? Um. Not detecting my clock or my compass. But right now the retrieval tasks are bugged out. Let me try making getting a lava bucket. Is this an issue? Yes, definitely. Am I going to fix it? I would, I do not know how though. I think it's a problem with better questing. Um, maybe it's like how these compasses and stuff are like items that change. But no, it worked in the creative test world, so there's probably something else going on. It'll, it'll be figured out. Um, okay. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, well, I think I'm going to start recording now. And so as soon as I... So I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, then make sure to like it or something. Um, I'll try to fix this issue. And see you next time.